So I guess I'll start off by uh, giving an introduction. Uh, my name is Stephen Wu with the RedCap team. And um, today we'll be talking about data import. So um, I'm already in my project right here, but I guess I'll start from the very beginning. Um, so once you log in, you get to your My Projects page. And uh, of course, just choose a project. Um, this isn't really a complete solution where you can just like import a file and it automatically create your project and everything. Um, you do already need to have a project created to use uh, Redcap's data import tool. Um, so why would you use the import tool? Uh, the data import tool for Redcap is very powerful. Um, it lets you input data quickly from uh, a CSV file and it's you know honestly quicker and more efficient um, when you have a large set of data or perhaps uh, if you're more comfortable with using Excel um, sometimes people might already have an ex data in Excel uh, or in some format that's similar to Excel um, that just makes it even easier to import into RedCap. Instances where you wouldn't use this, uh, if you're not in comfortable with Excel, I don't think you should use the data import. Uh, maybe direct data entry would be a better idea. Um, or if you have a very small set of data, then you should probably just use uh, RedCap's regular data entry. Um, so I guess today we'll just jump straight into it, right? So <clears throat> we'll start off at the main page, right? If you were to in, uh, input data regularly, you would just go to demographics and then create a new record. Let's see. Nope. Uh, let's just go with record one, right? And then here is all the data, you know, fake data. Now, if we want to import our own data, uh, we would just go to the data import tool located under applications. Um, just as a quick note, you do have to have the user right to uh, use the data import. So make sure, you know, that the person who's owner of the project gives you sufficient rights. Um, if we just go to, for instance, my account, and you just scroll down and look, uh, it is the data import tool. Make sure that's checked. Now, getting back to it, so data import tool. What we have here is um, it gives you two files. They're templates, which should make your life a lot easier. Download the template. I will be using the row template. Um, I'll, I can show an example of the column after. So save it. And then we'll just save it to this training folder. Save the import template. And we can open it. Let's see. So, import template. This is the, the template. <laughs> so, to kind of give you guys, you know, uh, an example, I've already created um, another file with dummy data, all fake data. And what we can do is just throw this right here. Now say I'm, I'm a doctor, right? And I want to import this data set into RedCap. Um, I have the project built out, you know, I have all the same uh, information available in RedCap. So if we go back to RedCap, go to Online Designer, and just look at the instrument. 
I have all these fields already. MRN, first name, last name, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Um, if I want to import this, it's very simple. So I have 12 records here. So I need to give it an ID. Um, I already have data in the RedCap project. I have five records already. Uh, these records are labeled record ID one, record ID two, all the way to five. So from here, I will have to start at six, right? So six and then seven will go sequentially. Um, and we'll have to do it for 12 records. And now I have that set up. And now I just have to match everything up uh, by record. So MRN, first name, last name, email, gender, date of birth, visit date, and whether or not they were discharged. Perfect. Um, you might notice that there is another column. Um, this is just to verify whether or not the record is complete. Um, you'll notice it in when you go into a record. For instance, if we go here, we have this complete. This is that final uh, column for the instrument. And you know you have option zero, which is incomplete, one unverified, and uh, two, which is complete. So what we can do is just, we'll, we'll make it all complete. We'll assume that all the data is good. So honestly, it's really easy. Just click, drag, uh, copy, and then I'll come back to this sheet and then right click and then paste, paste values, right? Oh wait, can't do that. Well, I should be able to. Let's format this to dates. And we want month, day, year, perfect. And there we go. So here's the MRN and then we'll just label it as complete. I'll just control copy and then control V for paste. Um, you might notice that I have this extra, uh, this extra column that's empty. I'm going to leave it empty because um, if you come back to RedCap, right, this is my project, data access groups. I have data access groups, but uh, I want it to be available for everyone. Um, so I'm not going to assign a data access group for this. And typically, you know, for a regular project, you shouldn't need it. Um, if you want more information about data access groups, that will be uh, one of our video training topics in the future. So keep an eye out. Uh, we will post another video about that. So from this, I can just save it, going back to it, come back to the project, go to the data import tool, and then you know, this is where you format the date. So month, day, year. Uh, it'll be uploaded as rows. Ignore blank values and then browse. Let's go to training. And training database import. Upload file. And this will automatically tell you if you're if you have uh, issues in your project, right? So right here, we're saying um, this field is having issues because the field name does not exist in the project. So yeah, that is true. Um, we have an issue because we left it blank. So honestly, we can just delete it. And then it's saying that three is not a value. And that's, that's correct. I need the third option. But uh, in RedCap, it's read as two, not three. So 
Come back here, change that to copy paste, save it. Let's try it again. And there we go. See everything everything looks good. Um, this shows you that you know we're importing a new record and then all these solid black text means that we're adding new data. If it was gray, then we'd be editing old data. And you know, red box is an error and orange is a warning, but uh, it'll usually tell you why it's warning, why there's a warning. So uh, from here, we'll just import data. And if we come back, look at records, we will see that we have 12 completed records. This is exactly what we had before. So um, just as a quick validation check, we can jump into this and we'll take a look at the MRN, the only thing that's really different. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if we look back at the data, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's correct. Come back, uh, I'll leave without saving, haven't done anything. Come to record seven. Six five four three two one. Six five four three two one. Perfect. So and and if you keep going down the row, you'll see that you know it, it does follow, um, and everything is valid. Um, one last thing we'll do today is show what happens when you have. Um, so say you already have records, right? It's already in the database but you want to make some changes to it. So take what we have here. Um, we'll go ahead and edit this. Just, let's see, delete it from here completely. And say we wanted to change the name, right? Um, Angelina Jolie. I think that's how you spell her name. And then this would be Jolie, a Jolie, and then female. We'll go off of this, All right? So we want to edit an existing record from our template. And then we'll save this, and then we'll upload it. Data import tool. Leave without saving changes. Browse, upload file, and this is what happens. Okay, so this is this is where it shows you know what's going on, right? Again, red text says that this record already exists, so we're going to be overwriting ID six. But on top of that, we'll be overwriting name. This was the old name Brad, and last name Pitt, email and gender. But the black text is the new data. This will be replacing the old data. And then the gray data, or the gray text is all just existing data, won't change. I'll import data, and then come into my record, my first complete record, for Angelina Jolie. And there we go. So, you know, if, if you really look at it, the data import tool is great for importing, um, you know, large sets of data. This way you won't have to enter data one at a time or, you know, you might already have an existing data source uh, that might be similar to Excel. Um, then this would be perfect. You don't have to retype everything, you know, because if I start retyping everything, it could take forever. Um, and, you know, you might fat finger something. It might not come out exactly how you need it, right? So, I mean, I can just copy, paste, and that's already so much faster than just typing, typing it by itself. So that's, that's all I got for, for y'all today. Um, any questions before I head out? Um, if 
do you guys have any questions, please feel free to email us at redcap at vcu.edu. Um, we'll, we will have another training topic uh, next week. Please keep an eye out on your email um, for the schedule for the next Redcap training topic. And if there are no questions, have a nice day.